happening YouTube. Um, sorry, been a while to update on the uh, EP3. Um, basically, the guy's garage is at, has been too busy to work on it. Um, nothing's been done. Yeah, I'm pretty gutted as well. But um, one of those things, man. If I had my own unit, I could bang it out. But it's just it's pretty annoying. Um, having to always wait for someone else because uh, if I had my own place, I could just knock it out quick. But having no room on the driveway um, and still not being able to find a unit yet is pretty annoying. So updates will come, but probably slow by the looks of it. So yeah, but anyway, today I thought I'd do a bit of different content for you because um, this is one of the cars that are on my drive and one of the little projects I um, I thought about taking on because it was like my old school love, um, my first ever turbo car. So today I'm gonna be working on this. Yep, nice Fiat Punto Turbo. As you can see, I bought it with no engine in, um, but the engine's there. So it's a fully working, running engine. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna try and get that in today. That's the plan. Um, the guy I bought it off mucked me about left, right, and center. Um, said he's got these like it was missing so many bits. He said when I bought it, he said oh, I've got everything. Rah, rah, rah. They had engine mount missing, there's radiator missing. Um, yeah, obviously, I knew it needed a turbo when I bought it, um, but I can change that, it's not a problem. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to do today, guys. Look, the EG is still here, don't worry, it's not going nowhere. That will be happening. I said, I'm just waiting for the unit. First things first, I've got to knock this out. And sell it on because the reason I bought it was to uh, sell it on and basically save it because there's not many of these left and it was just being neglected and the shell was really good. Um, it's a GT1 originally, um, but it's uh, I think it's got a Seb Zero chip in it. Um, probably good for about I think I don't know if it's 180 or two 180. I think yeah, it's 180 brake sort of thing with standard turbo and supporting mods. But I've got a lot of work to do. Um, it's got the four levers inside. See it? It's dusty. Yep, the four levers inside. It's got all half the car inside. So, because I'm on my own, guys, I might try and get a bit of time lapse going for you. If not, then I'll just film what I can. As you can see, there's a lot of work that needs to be done to get this engine in. The main thing is I want to get it bolted up first. And I've got a lot of brake cleaner down there and stuff to... Uh, Give this filthy engine a clean. As you can see, it's almost gunked in it. Ugh. So I want that all cleaned, really. Um, right, we'll jump on with it quickly. All right, guys, it is absolutely roasting today. It's the hottest day of the year so far. <coughs> I'm literally dying um, from heat exhaustion already. I've only been out here an hour. Um, it is scorching. It's 20... At 25 degrees today, something like that, 24. But obviously in the UK, that's quite hot, guys. So um, all you American guys and everywhere else, you probably like, ah, oh, it's nothing, it's normal. But yeah, it's hot, it's hot for the UK, guys. But anyway, yeah, I'm just about to get the engine in. Um, this is where I'm at. Yeah, so um, got the engine in place. Um, what I'm gonna do now, so I've got that wheel off. You see, it's gotta take this wheel off. Um, and lower it down onto the engine mounts and then get it all bolted up and then once it's bolted in place you can work on um, getting everything connected back up and then work out what I need after because obviously I'm going to have to get a downpipe made because um, obviously I'll be changing the turbo um, I'm probably going to get a, a eBay uh, T25 or something like that because or GT25 because I can't seem to find um Standard Punto Turbo for human money, let's say, because I've seen them fully refurbished for £400, and I'm not being funny. These cars ain't worth spending £400 on a turbo one. <laughs> I don't think, personally. So, um, yeah, so I may just do that and order a two and a half inch downpipe. Um, and then obviously, I'll have to get a flange, I'll have to weld the flange on, um, which won't be a problem. But, yeah, because this turbo that's on there is dead. 
I may even have a look actually to see if I can get a rebuild kit for this turbo, but I can't find one as I'm speaking to you because I did have a little look. Um, but as you can see, yeah, I'm getting it done in scorching heat. Yeah, um, hopefully next time I'll film, we'll be, the engine will be in and I'll be bolting everything up. So, got loads to do. It literally been taken completely apart. I've got to put the shafts in yet. I've got to put all the gear linkage in. Um, everything back together. So, I'm going to crack on, guys. All right, guys, as you can see, I'm sweating. I've got some dungaree outfit on. No top underneath. Look like a redneck. <laughs> Feel like one as well, feel as dirty as one. Um, but anyway, yeah, progress has been happening. Uh, just rang up Lewis, see if he can uh, pop me around his ball joint and splitters and his drive shaft socket so I can get all the shafts bolted up in the gearbox. But the, the engine's in. Yeah, she's all bolted in. One mount, two mount, and the gearbox mount is all bolted up as well. So, the engine's in. Um, that's the worst, in my opinion, that's the worst bit out of the way. Uh, now the engine's in, obviously, I'm probably going to find out how much bits this geezer has not given me for the car. Um, it's looking like quite a few, to be fair, but like I said I'm not, I'm not in no rush, really. Why well, I am, and I ain't, because I need my driveway back to finish off my EP3. But, um, yeah, there's nothing I can do, unfortunately. you just got to use what I can find really um obviously I'll need by the looks of it radio I'll need a radiator anyway I'll need um some boost piping turbo I'll probably spend best part of 500 quid on this and get it all all back but no she's uh she is in there she's she's solid she's still jacked up because obviously I'm gonna wait for Lewis and uh get all these shafts in so yes we're getting there As you can see, the engine is in, the front is back together. All down on its own springs. Um, still not done the shaft yet. Um, Lou boy's not turned up yet. Um, but the weather's too nice, so I'm going to call it there for today. If I enjoy a bit of the weather. But um, yeah, managed to get the engine in, get a lot tacked up in there. Um, yeah, I mean, phew. That's probably all in all, probably about changing the turbo, and that probably about another five hours work. It should be running. So, I'm going to crack on and uh, leave this video here. I'll, feel, I'll film an outro in a minute for you guys. Look at that. Oh, on the power. Oh, EG. Right, guys, I don't know what is up with the camera. Oh, it's the sunlight making it go funny. But yeah, I'm all done. Um, for today, I um, thought I'd do an outro for you because I just didn't want to drop it there like that. Um, I'm sweaty, I'm dirty, I need a shower. Um, so I packed up early, it's like half one now. I started on that about 10 this morning. Um, so it's not too bad. Yeah, a couple of hours, got all the engine in, got everything ready, really to go. Um, just waiting, I spoke to the guy, I bought the car off um, now. He's going to drop the parts um, by tomorrow or Monday. Latest, uh, there's a downpipe missing, um, a radiator, and an uh, engine bracket. I've got the engine bracket because I bought another one because I couldn't be bothered to wait. Because um, he's been telling me weeks he's going to drop it, so I'll just end up going ahead and getting that. But I don't really want to fork out for a radiator and a downpipe. I probably will have to go for a downpipe for the new turbo I'm fitting, if I fit a new turbo. But, um, yeah, so if he does bring it touch wood... Um, then obviously I'll get all buttoned up and get the car hopefully running this week. Uh, once it's all running, then I can get an MOT on it, get it all cleaned up properly and be on to the person who wants to buy the car. So um, it will be up for sale. Haven't put a price on it yet because obviously I'm not sure the quality of everything once it's finished. I'll price it accordingly to the quality and the condition of the car. It is extremely low mileage on that engine. Um, that's the original engine out of the car. It only got taken out... Um, the engine got taken out because the guy was going to do a restoration on the car. Um, as there was a little bit of rust on the passenger side seal. Um, but other than that, to be fair, the shell was quite clean for a Ponto Turbo because they always rot to pieces. The arches go. Um, underneath the seals are the worst because they got where their side skirts, uh, obviously on the car, 
water gets underneath and it sits on the seals and rots them to pieces. So, yeah, so but the car's quite good condition, to be honest. Um, I think it's like two owners from new. Um, first, I've got the brand new certificate from when it was bought from the dealership, which was from a reverend. But, um, yeah, so I'm going to get that finished for this, um, just a little bit for the channel for you instead of Hondas for once. Um, you know, I had a VXR on the channel a little while back and that. Sorry if the camera's all joggy because um, I'm absolutely knackered. My arms are shifted from uh, lifting that engine in and things like that. But, um, yeah, so uh, that's where I don't really know what else to say about that. But hopefully you enjoyed a little bit of different content, something a bit different for you to watch. Um, and maybe, maybe you might enjoy it, I don't know. But um, as for the Honda Goes, the EP3, I said I'm still waiting on Craig, the guy whose garage it is in, to do them little bits. Um, yeah, I know it's been a while now. I know a lot of you have been messaging me on Instagram and Facebook and asking what is going on. Um, it should be done, I know, but it's just waiting on other people. If I have my own unit, yes, it will be done. That's a fact. But obviously, Craig's got his day job as well. He juggles... Um, Juggles it around and obviously he had another big project he's been working on for a long time and the engine's just come back for that. So I'm pretty sure mine will probably get palmed to the side. <laughs> um, but we'll see, we'll see. So but I'm hoping to have it done within a couple of weeks, but we'll see what happens. Uh, I said I'm waiting on other people, not myself, guys. So, yeah. So anyway, I um, hope you enjoy the content. Like, subscribe, share. Um, the channel is growing, nearly 400 subscribers, get in, get in there, so, um, but yeah, oh yeah, another thing, I keep forgetting to mention, I am currently filming on my iPhone, I have been most of the videos, um, I've got a new GoPro and a couple of new cameras that I'm going to be using, but I'm not sure how to use the editing software on the computer, and I was looking at Sony Vegas, um, things like that, but um, yeah, i um, got to learn a bit about the editing side of things on them. Whereas I've got a nice program on my iPhone which does everything for me. Um, I pay about 89p a month, I think, and it is that's what I've edited all my videos with, spot on. So, but yeah, so hopefully the better quality videos will be coming soon, guys, and better editing. I'm just currently learning. Um, website is still ongoing. Uh, merchandise is still ongoing. I said I've been busy as well outside of the castle side of things. But yeah, thanks again. Like, subscribe, share. Let's get this channel to a thousand subs.